Uh, hey guys, uh, recently I have started giving uh, interviews and one of the interview experience of Flipkart I am gon gonna share you, uh, share with you today. So uh, the recruiter called me and scheduled three interviews. Uh, the first was machine coding, the second was problem solving and data structures and third was design round but each round was elimination round. So the condition was like if you will... Uh, uh, not uh, qualify the first round machine coding will not be entering into second round and if you will not qualify second you will not be entering in the third round so i have reached uh, uh, till the final round which was third third round so i'll tell you that uh, what my experience was and what questions were asked in uh, that particular interview so the uh, round one was machine coding and the time given to code the solution was one and a half hours uh, the interviewer uh, just came and gave 15 minute, minutes of briefing about the question and if I had any doubts I, I, I could ask and that was completely virtual he was on the video call and he asked me to code uh, in any language I wanted and in my favorite ID whatever I like so I chose Eclipse and I chose uh, Java as a language to design that particular uh, question and code it so the uh, the problem statement of the, of the question was uh, you have to design and uh, implement a logger library that application can use to log a message so ba basically you have to design a logger framework in this like like a, a log4j if you have used in java similar to that but a smaller version of that so <coughs> the requirements were uh, pretty uh, cl cleared and written uh, in the document so client or application make use of log logger library to log the message to a sync sync is nothing but the destination where the message will be um, stored like example if you want to log that uh, message in the text file or you want to just uh, write it in the console or database or even he said that uh, uh, now these three are the requirements but you have to make your application such that uh, it might add uh, the another sync type also like if you want to send a logs over network so you you kind of implement in a generic way that uh, tomorrow if you have requirement you can implement that also so all those things ne needed to be taken care so th these are uh, the requirements like uh, message has content which is of type string and it has level associated with it uh, like level was debug info warn error uh, fatal whatever type of uh, ma message uh, level it has and it has to direct it to a destination which is sync i have already explained and it has namespace associated with it to identify the part of application that sent the message uh, that and the next thing is like sync type i already explained and what your logger library will do like it accepts the message from client it routes the message to the appropriate sync which i already told uh, whatever user will specify that I want to log this particular message in text file then you have to uh, route that particular message to a text file uh, you have to support the fo following message levels like debug info warn fatal and error and it enriches message with current timestamp while directing message to sync so you have to append a timestamp also in the um, string message which user have given that at what timestamp it has been written in the text file or database or uh, anywhere whatever the sync type is and you have uh, that requires configuration during the setup so these were the uh, cleared uh, cleared out requirements which he told and the goal of the system was you have to design a logger to allow user provide their own implementation of sync so this as i explained earlier like uh, right now you have to do it for uh, text file or database and then uh, for tomorrow let, let's suppose a user wants to send it to over a network so you have to design your library in such a way that uh, any user can implement uh, uh, their own sync type as well so it should be that journey uh, generic and uh, the ex next ex expectation was you must provide at least one implementation of sync so uh, i decided to uh, implement it into a text file uh, because <laughs> that was that was the easiest one <laughs> for me and then uh, the third requirement was you have to implement write policy that logger library can use so write policy as in uh, write to sync synchronously and write to sync asynchronously so if uh, sync async is something like uh, you have to write uh, your uh, uh, sync sync messages are uh, like uh, you should be synchronized with whatever is written and acknowledgements should be sent 
at that particular time when the uh, message is uh, finished async is like your application can continue to run and you have sent the log uh, logs to be written and they are written in the background so this was also one of the um, expectations or goals of our system but uh, i'll tell you what my experience was i i completed this uh, the above two uh, goals but uh, the third one i was not able to complete however when uh, the evaluation started he asked me then i told that uh, using threads and all i can do this much uh, this implementation as well so it was looks like okay to me and the evaluation criteria was you have to make abstractions you have to uh do a entity modeling properly like why what kind of entities you will have in your uh, uh, framework uh, you have to use design patterns uh, 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 here and it should be testable code readability should be good and language proficiency you should have whatever language you are choosing you should be good in, into that you must have handled edge cases like your uh, systems should not fail for any for example an null point or exception or anything like that and uh, the code should be demoable i mean uh, at least one of the implementation should work and you should show that it's writing that so uh, for me uh, what happened here uh, like i have uh, already told that uh, out of uh, three goals i have completed two goals but the third one i have started but could not complete in one and a half hours so i just told the strategy was okay it's not uh, very uh, uh, good impression on that but it's okay because in one and a half hour it, it's completely not uh, feasible for me to do so and the second is uh, uh, round was uh, data structures and problem solving so in this uh, round they have asked me uh, two questions the question one was like you are receiving a stream of scores in a game for millions of players and you have to identify their rank and display so let's suppose you are uh, receiving uh, somebody scored 100 and it is the highest so the rank of that particular one will be 100 and the other one if he has scored 95 the rank of it will be uh, second now if uh, somebody uh, else plays the games and his, his score becomes uh, 105 so the rank of uh, 105 one user will be one and 100 you the person who has scored 100 will become second and similarly the 95 uh, uh, score of the person uh, that rank will become third so similarly you have to design you have to give approaches so i have given him uh, one brute force uh, approach like i can have it in array and uh, you know sort that and as the results will come i'll uh, what i'll do is like i'll place it in between I mean, whatever uh, the score next will come, I'll place it in the right position so that the determining the rank will be easier for every uh, score. So it was like a brute force. Then he asked, then I uh, came up with some optimized solutions and all and discussion went on. So uh, this I've completed. And then uh, the next question he asked uh, me, like uh, given the list of dependencies and mapping, um, on which all other dependencies are dependent so it's a kind of like maven or gradle if you have used uh, this the sort of like uh, jar files which are dependent on other jar files or something similar so you have to come up with the strategy and code it like uh, in the optimal possible way you can download all the dependencies so this is uh, i've uh, given him the approach of top topological sort and of kind kind of coded he looks satisfied and then that that round got over and then i've heard that i've cleared that round and then <clears throat> the third round was design round and in the design round the problem statement was uh, you have to design a flip card video application uh, which is similar to netflix or prime videos video so this was like a generic discussion and it went for like two hours for me as it was i think a final also final round as well so the expectations of the interviewer were like you have to come up with the requirements uh, what are what are requirements you have to gather for this particular video and it is common sense also whenever you have a design questions you have to you know come up with uh, the re requirement first that what are the requirements of that particular application you are going to build and then he was expecting me to create high level design uh, diagram and what all components it will consist of and when i designed a high level high level uh, design components and all those diagrams uh, like application servers database where meta metadata servers etc then there was a lot of cross questioning over that 
and lot of discussion went on like what how many application servers will you have according to the requirements will you have the separated servers for each like if you are making a payment pay, payment microservice and you are making a user fit microservice will you have the separate uh, servers application servers for that or will you have the same servers how will the microservices work all those things he was expecting and then after coming up to a high level design and uh, writing the uh, like it will have a payment user feed and all then he was expecting me to you know deep dive into one of the components like uh, user feed user feed is nothing but uh, when you open a netflix or when you open any prime video or something a user sees a kind of home page in which uh, he sees particular videos out of his interest also let's suppose he has watched 10 horror movies so based on his watched experience uh, there will be some Uh, recommendations shown and the user feed is created so he uh, kind of went into the deep of this and he has asked me to write classes what all classes will be there what all entities will be there and he asked me to write even apis in the rest form completely like i used i use uh, spring boot to create rest apis in my work x so i have to write according to that like if there is a post api then at the rate post mapping and api contract and then uh the method name and all he did not went into the implementation part of everyone every api like uh, how will you do that he said it's okay because also the time was also a constraint in that particular thing and then he asked me to create database tables he even asked me that what kind of database you will use uh, if you are using sql why if you are using no sql then why he asked me to uh, you know how will you shard uh, how will you distribute your data because that will be too much uh, to to the the motto was like uh, sharding of that particular data uh, so i told that uh, uh, we can shard it based on the user id so he asked like uh, for every different user id will you have a separate server or what so i said that uh, no it's not possible because millions of user you can create a hash so he wanted to listen uh, see such keywords also like you should have a hash a calculate hash of user id and then based on the same hash you can uh, distribute the data on to that particular server linked to that particular hash so the discussion went on and it was kind of uh, quite a good discussion he asked me to draw everything on draw.io and i have drawn and then shared it with him so that's it I, uh, that was it Uh, for this particular uh, experience this these were the questions and uh, in my next video i'll be sharing the other companies uh, experience which i have given i have given uh, lately i have given so many interviews and